Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. Today we are going to talk about initial coin offerings ICOs. So let's have a look. In our layers of blockchain, an ICO can happen on two different layers. Most commonly what we see is ICO happening on token layer where companies fund their idea through this. At the same time ICO can also happen on the protocol or the coin layer where somebody come up with a new protocol for blockchain then they can create it and they can issue coins that are going to be in that protocol in an ICO. So these are the two layers on which ICO could occur but most commonly it happens in the token layer. Now let's have a look at how ICO really work. What we are going to do here is compare IPO with ICO. IPO stands for initial public offering and it's a way that companies are or have been historically used to raise money from the stock market. Let's have a look. So this is an IPO. Let's see how it works. So we have these people and they want to raise some money for their company, holy moly. So how all these things will work out? First of all, they will put in work or labors and some initial capital into that company before even an IPO has been considered. And in return, they get shares in that company. Then what happens is they start producing product or if it's a service company, they start providing services and so in return, they get profit. So that's how a company can operate before it's publicly listed company when it's a private company. So when they want to list the company publicly, then the shares are available to general public for purchase. They conduct an IPO, initial public offering. What happens there is the public give cash to the company and in return they get shares in that company. So this way companies raise cash in order to fund their operational needs. They need huge capitals to operate and perform the operation that grows the companies. So in return, the company's shares are provided to the public. General people can invest in that company. And so they are also the part of that company. They get the dividends or parts of profit generated by the company. So this is just a basic overview. Of course, it is much more complex than this. But in general, this is kind of idea behind the IPO. Now let's have a look at an ICO. What happens there? Well, the start is very similar, the founders create company, they invest their work or labor and initial capital and in return they get shares. Then they start producing products or services and generate profit. And in some point they decided they want to raise more capital as they need more money to scale their ideas and business. So in this case what they do is, they would put their products and services into a closed environment and they would say, so from now we are going to introduce a token called let's say holy moly token which you can use to buy our products and services. You can always exchange the holy moly token with dollars or rupees. So it's like a separate economy for the company where holy moly tokens are used for buying the products and the services. So basically if the public knows that this company is already successful or it has potential or the idea is great, so they see the values in having these holy moly tokens. So what they're gonna do is they would invest their money into this holy moly token in an ICO as soon as these coins are initially offered public will give cash to the companies which usually happens in bitcoin or ethers and in return they get tokens here the important thing to notice is the conceptual difference between ipo and ico in ipo public gets shares and some authority and right then the dividends are the part of the profit whereas in an ico public gets none of that the public just get this token that they can use to spend them buy the products and services and they can also wait and hold the tokens so its value increases and later they can sell them in higher values. What is important here is that the founders of the company they keep all the controls of the company and keep all the shares and the profit. This is an important part to remember in an ICO and another thing to remember here is that IPO is limited to companies that are ready to take next step, start scaling and ready to be publicly listed whereas in an ICO it can be done by anybody, literally anybody. ICO is just an other way to fund money for the companies. So this is all about IPO and ICOs. If you want to learn more, I will suggest you this article, WTF is an ICO. You can learn additional about the ICOs. I will provide a link in the description. And on this note, I will see you in the next video.